Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the YouTube tech guy. Hey guys, so sometimes when we review a product, it works out great during the testing period, but after a couple months, it breaks down on you. That's actually what happened with our last robot vacuum and it didn't turn out well. Luckily, our friends at Eufy were able to send us their awesome robot vacuum that is pretty much the highest selling one on Amazon at the time of this recording. And this is the RoboVac 11S. It is a slim design, meaning short, so it can go under a lot of different things, such as furniture, bed frames, and even some couches. So it's a really awesome powered and low price, under $300 robot vacuum. So let's test it out and really put it through its paces and see how it does. All right, guys, so first and foremost, I have to talk about the thing that really did impress me the most, and that is the low profile is real. It was able to go under things like my TV stand without a problem. It was able to go in front of the desk that we have in the middle of the living room, again, without a problem. It's just impressive that it goes in and out as it pleases, and it's still able to clean everything uh, without having to move stuff around. Uh, and in my first uh, pickup where I hadn't vacuumed in probably about two to three weeks, it got a lot, especially in my carpet that's pretty thick. And that is where I go to the remote. The remote is pretty dead simple and very customizable to seeing how you want to clean. Um, most people are gonna probably use auto just because it's simple and easy to use. The suctions are standard, boost IQ to change on the fly, and max. I tend to use max for uh, my area just because it's gonna be a lot of uh, carpet that just, it gets stuff in it, especially dog hair and stuff like that in there. So I love the fact that it's simple and easy to use. Lots of different ways to uh, have it do the patrol around your house as you see in the second row right there. And then on the bottom you have the time and you can schedule a time to have have it clean at a specific time or night day depending on what you preferences it's pretty quiet but it might wake you up so keep that in mind overall i do like that it goes over an hour of vacuuming without a problem it docks by itself when it needs to so pretty and simple and easy to get started and to finish off however when we did our test we did more dirt than normal in our little vacuum test uh, and it was able to pick all the dirt up again in that thick carpet. It did have to do it twice in that big patch that I overly did. And because it did so well, I even had to do a little victory dance at the end. So after all that, would I recommend this vacuum? Yeah, I really would. It honestly, it just has everything you need. And that Boost IQ, the more and more I used it, I have to admit I'm using that instead of Max now because it does change when it gets to my kitchen or when it gets to my entryway. It does do a really good job and it actually figures out how much suction it really needs to. And I found that it actually got to go longer with that instead of always having it on Max because obviously it's changing on the fly. Uh, other than that, the dust bin was pretty big and it had really a lot of great features, just everything I needed. Now, does it have everything? No, there are some features that you might not find on here, but it's up to you if you want it. Do you want the Wi-Fi connected, Bluetooth connected kind of vacuum? That's up to you. If you do want that, they have versions of that, but for my money and really close to a $200 price point, this really gives you everything I would say most people need. If you want extras that is available with other models, but this model is just, if you want a smart robot vacuum that vacuums every day for you at a specific time or whenever you feel like it, then this is the one to go with. So let me know in the comment section down below, have you ever used a robot vacuum before? Have you been curious about them? And also, have you ever had a product that worked well the first couple of months and then crapped out on you later on? Let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you as always for watching. This has been R-I-C-K-Y the YouTube tech guy. Thank you for watching our video. If you liked it, why don't you go ahead and subscribe up there. Make sure you follow us on social media right here. And of course, check out our latest video up there. And right down here, you're gonna find the perfect video for you. Or at least that's what YouTube tells me. Thanks again.